Only on Fox tonight, Alzheimer's disease is a devastating diagnosis and it affects millions of Americans. There's still no cure, but doctors are working very hard to find answers. Some of the most advanced Alzheimer's research in the world is happening right here in Arizona. And the doctors behind the study need your help. Liz Kotelik has the story. Good morning. You see so many people. I'll put on some music. Throughout your life. Let's do it together. And you look at them and wonder how they came to accept. Next sheet. How am I going to go? Put it against this pillow right here. Once you get this feeling of taking a look into the future. Just pull on it, honey. It just seems to flow along. Let's go have breakfast. It's a reality that Pat and Ron Carmichael have been living with since 2010. It's because you're going to use orange juice for that. Do you remember the day we really found it, honey? So, finding When we something. found that you had Alzheimer's. Oh, okay. Um, Pat will eventually remember that seven years ago she got lost on her way to see a movie with her friends. The police had to call her husband, and the next day the couple went to the Mayo Clinic. We walked out with a diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Shocked to both of us. Put him in here. Pat was 72 okay. years old and had just survived her battle with breast cancer. Okay. Today, she's 79 and in the moderate stages of another disease, but one that has no cure. At times, she becomes disoriented. The other door. Forgetting things you'd think you'd always remember. We have four children, right? I don't know. I'm leaving it up to you. Remember Coach Marley? Slowly fading as her husband, sun, Ron, honey? patiently helps her navigate her ever-changing world. No, honey, you just, stay, you just stay eating. All while knowing the day will come when his wife On your tongue, won't remember him either. And good advice tells you to enjoy the moment. So we will go and, and tonight we will, you know, celebrate with Teddy Roosevelt. And tomorrow morning, Pat won't remember a thing about it. But the moment I'll see her smiling and I know that moment she enjoyed. It's a real hardship to care for someone uh, that you love so much and see them decline uh, in front of you. Dr. Edward Zamrini with Banner Sun Health has studied Alzheimer's since 1988, watching the traumatic effects of the mysterious disease, but marveling at the promising advancements that he's seen firsthand. When I first started, uh, we, we had to wait till a person died before we could look at their brain under the microscope and see if they had the telltale signs of Alzheimer's disease. Now we can tell in real life. Now we can see that one of the earliest causes is an abnormal accumulation of a protein called amyloid in the brain, forming plaques, slowly killing nerve cells, while a patient transforms into someone they're not. The latest medications still under the research have shown some ability to reduce those deadly plaques, but down. the correct dosage and when to start them is all still unknown. Because the process is so slow, Studying it, uh, it is going to take a long time. So Dr. Zamrini takes a proposal to the community of Sun City West, a community that will see more and more of the disease as its residents continue to age. The more people that participate in clinical research and do so sooner rather, rather than later, the quicker we will have answers. I more or less jumped at the chance to go ahead and be swabbed for this. Mona McCoy watched her mother-in-law die from Alzheimer's disease, and now she's volunteering herself for potentially groundbreaking clinical trials with doctors at Banner Sun Health. The process is called Gene Match, and it all starts with a quick swab of the mouth. That gets sent off to the lab, while researchers will look for certain genes that can determine if someone's at risk of getting the disease. Now that we can tell who is going to get Alzheimer's, we can try out promising new medications. Dr. Zamrini says 15% of those who gene match will get a call to participate in a study that varies from medication to cognitive tests. At any one point, we have easily 20 clinical trials running right here. And the more people who participate before they show symptoms, the faster doctors can make progress before it's too late. The goal is to have significant, life-changing advancements in prevention or delay of symptoms by the year 2025. Once we put our minds to it, you know, there's no limit to what we can achieve. Keep the part, yeah. Pat has been involved in three clinical studies after her diagnosis. Okay. Decisions, Ron you says, that? that the couple always made together. It's fluffy. We may not be the beneficiaries, but we can make the beneficiaries, the people we love the most. And that's the reason you do it. So now we'll get some socks on. For now, it's one step at a time. A tie bow. As Pat's disease bow. continues to progress. This is my world. She's 55 years I got invested in this thing. It's the best thing I got going. What if the posts are here? Without shame or denial, no the couple moves through yeah. what's left of life with a positive attitude and hope for the future. We need you to help us 
work with the whole world on something that will help us. Cure this disease? Yes. Good. All right. Here, let's go. Liz Kodalik, Fox 10 News. In order to participate in the Gene Match program, you must be between the ages of 55 and 75 with normal memory and cognitive abilities because, again, the goal here is to try to stop Alzheimer's before the symptoms begin. All of this information is on our website at fox10phoenix.com.